Hey, right, how's it going, guys? <clears throat> um. <coughs> All right, sorry. All right, how's it going, guys? I'm back. Um, I'm gonna talk about um my YouTube and where I want it to go now. Um, I said I wanted to do. I'm gonna do vlogs, but I'm also gonna talk a lot about photography stuff, like cameras and lenses and other stuff like that because I love photography like I'm huge on photography so I just wanted to come in with that real quick vlogs I might do vlogs on my daily life going out, out and about stuff like that not using my M200 my M200 anymore because I got a new camera and a better camera but um my new name on YouTube is Magical Memories so yeah um I'm gonna come in with my new camera talk about it and my new lens but with this camera I with my new camera I can actually use a Rode mic I can plug this in and use this and have better audio than I do on my M200 so that is a plus with the new camera just wanted to come in with that real quick All right. So, um, I'm going to show you the camera, I'm going to show you the lens that comes with the camera, and then I'm going to show you the actual new lens I have, my one lens I got for it that I truly love, I love a lot, and I love taking pictures with it. Alright, so first off, here is the camera. Here is the camera. Um, here's the camera, guys. This is a ESO, a, e, a Canon ESO R10. Here is a Canon R, see it right there, Canon R10. Love this. Oh, and the one plus thing that comes with it is this. is a little um, hot shoe cover so you don't ruin your hot shoe. Love that. Um, I'm going to say, the I'm going to say I love this, I love this camera. It's, it's a mirrorless, lightweight, it's a lightweight mirrorless camera, uh, just like my M200 is mirrorless. Um, the flip out screen to the side instead of flipping up like the M, like my M200 does. Um, it has trigger, it has like a lot of cool features for it. Uh, a lot of, I can mat the buttons to anything I want. It has a viewfinder. Uh, that's the one thing that I had to really get used to, guys, was the viewfinder. Because I don't, my M200 doesn't have a viewfinder. It was just straight look at the, look at the screen, like look at the screen, take a photo, and done. Right? It never had a viewfinder. Um, it has a joystick. Um, it can shoot manual, uh, autofocus and manual. Um, it has where it can shoot con consistent photos. It could do uh, HDR photos. Uh, this camera has a whole bunch of stuff that it can do, which I love. Like, I love this camera, man. Like, I'm sticking with the R series cameras for the, rest of my, for the rest of my life or until Canon comes out with a new um, camera, new uh, lines of series cameras, because the R series cameras are the top of the line camera is coming from Canon and I love cam Canon uh, Canon colors I love everything about Canon so the M200 I mean the R10 do recommend it and yeah um it's not a full frame sucks but whatever um, it can shoot 4k it can shoot 4K, I, I forget how many frames per second, but it can shoot 4K, love that. Um, I set the, the uh, for videos, I set the record button being on the bottom, it's right, right here where my finger is, right there, that's the record button, love it, but you can also put like a, you can also put like a remote like this one onto it, so you can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use, it could use external flash. Like, I was trying to use, like, uh, um, I've been going, uh, I've been off from school, but I'm going back this month on the 16th, uh, for photography again. 
Uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic, your basic uh, understanding of cameras and photography and all that. Um, but, um, I was going to say no. But my M200 couldn't take external flashes. It couldn't even use, like it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything. But only that, I can have an external flash, like on a tripod and facing at the person I want to take a shoot and just hit um. It can shoot 4K. It can shoot 4K. I, I forget how many frames per second. But it can shoot 4K. Love that. Um, I set the the uh, for videos. I set the record button being on the bottom. It's right, right here where my finger is. Right there. That's the record button. Love it. But you can also put like a... You can also put like a remote like this one onto it. So... You can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use it could use external flash. Like I was trying to use like uh, um, I've been going uh, I've been off from school, but I'm going back this month on the 16th uh, for photography again. Uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic your basic uh, understanding of cameras and photography and all that um but um i was gonna say no but my m200 couldn't take external flashes it couldn't even use like it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything but only that i can have an external flash like on a tripod and facing at the person i want to take a shoot and just hit um it can shoot 4k it can shoot 4K, I, I forget how many frames per second, but it can shoot 4K, love that. Um, I set the, the uh, for videos, I set the record button being on the bottom, it's right, right here where my finger is, right there, that's the record button, love it, but you can also put like a, you can also put like a remote like this one onto it, so you can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use, it could use external flash. Like, I was trying to use, like, uh, uh, um, I've been going, uh, I've been off from school, but I'm going back this month on the 16th, uh, for photography again. Uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic, your basic, uh, understanding of cameras and photography and all that. Um, but, um, I was going to say no, but my M200 couldn't take external flashes. It couldn't even use, like, it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything, but only that, I can have an external flash, like, on a tripod and facing at the person I want to take a shoot and just hit, um, it can shoot 4K. It can shoot 4K, I, I forget how many frames per second, but it can shoot 4K, love that, um, I set the the uh, for videos. I set the record button being on the bottom. It's right right here where my finger is. Right there. That's the record button. Love it. But you can also put like a you can also put like a remote like this one onto it. So you can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use it could use external flash. Like I was trying to use like uh, um. I've been going, uh, I've been off from school, but I'm going back this month on the 16th uh, for photography again. Uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic, your basic uh, understanding of cameras and photography and all that. Um, but, um, I was going to say no. But my M200 couldn't take external flashes. It couldn't even use... Like, it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything. But only that, I can have an external flash, like, on a tripod and facing at the person I want to take a shoot and just hit, um, it can shoot 4K. It can shoot 4K. I, I forget how many frames per second. But it can shoot 4K. Love that. Um, I set the, the, uh, for videos, I set the record button being on the bottom. It's right here. Right here where my finger is. Right there. That's the record button. Love it. But you can also put like a... 
You can also put like a remote like this one onto it. So you can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use it could use external flash. Like I was trying to use like uh, um, I've been going uh, I've been off from school, but I'm going back this month on the 16th uh, for photography again. Uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic your basic uh, understanding of cameras and photography and all that. Um, but um, I was gonna say no. But my M200 couldn't take external flashes. It couldn't even use, like, it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything. But only that, I can have an external flash, like, on a tripod and facing at the person I want to take and shoot and just hit. Um, it can shoot 4K. It can shoot 4K. I I forget how many frames per second, but it can shoot 4K. Love that. Um, I set the. The, uh, for videos, instead of the record button being on the bottom, it's right right here where my finger is. Right there, that's the record button. Love it, but you can also put like a, you can also put like a remote like this one onto it. So, you can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use, it could use external flash. Like, I was trying to use, like, uh, um, I've been going, uh, I've been off from school, but I'm going back this month on the 16th uh, for photography again. Uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic, your basic uh, understanding of cameras and photography and all that. Um, but, um, I was going to say no. But my M200 couldn't take external flashes. It couldn't even use... Like it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything, but only that I can have an external flash, like on a tripod and facing at the person I want to take and shoot and just hit. Um, it can shoot 4K. It can shoot 4K. I I forget how many frames per second, but it can shoot 4K. Love that. Um, I set the the uh, for videos. Set the record button being on the bottom. It's right. here. Right here where my finger is. Right there. That's the record button. Love it. But you can also put like a... You can also put like a remote like this one onto it. So you can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use it could use external flash. Like, I was trying to use... Like, uh, um, I've been going... Uh, I've been off from school. But I'm going back this month on the 16th. Uh, for photography again, uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic, your basic uh, understanding of cameras and photography and all that. Um, but um, I was gonna say no. But my M200 couldn't take external flashes. It couldn't even use, like, it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything. But only that, I can have an external flash, like, on a tripod. And facing at the person I want to take and shoot and just hit um it can shoot 4k it can shoot 4k I, I forget how many frames per second but it can shoot 4k love that um I set the the uh, for videos set of the record button being on the bottom it's right right here where my finger is right there that's the record button Love it, but you can also put like a, you can also put like a remote like this one onto it, so you can use that. Um, yeah. Oh, it could use it could use external flash. Like, I was trying to use like uh, um, I've been going uh, I've been off from school, but I'm going back this month uh, for photography again. Uh, this one's more about flash and all that. The first one I did was basic your basic uh understanding of cameras and photography and all that um but um i was gonna say no but my m200 couldn't take external flashes it couldn't even use like it doesn't have a hot shoe or anything but only that i can have an external flash like on a tripod and facing at the person i want to take and shoot and just hit there so i was like oh, come on so 
that's another reason one of the reasons why I bought the R10 right. so we're gonna go into lenses now this lens I got it's a Canon it's a Canon obviously RF S 18 to 45 so here's a RF S 18 to 45 right here guys um, it's an alright lens it's an alright lens like it's alright because it, it, it stays in so it won't move around and bang up in the in the bag in your like uh, camera bag but it's alright it's for um, the AS, ASPC lenses um yeah but yeah it's alright um it takes good photos it takes good photos it takes I don't know about video because I haven't done video on my R10 yet, but um, it's it's all right, it's all right, it's 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 all right, I guess. Uh, takes good photos and all that. So if you want just to get the camera, you want to just get the R, get the R10 and just use the uh, kit lens. You just want to use the kit lens for a good amount of time until you save money to get. The more expensive lenses, then I say go for it. I say go right ahead and go for it because um, kit lenses are good if you're just starting off and you don't have like other lenses for the R series cameras. Then stick with the uh, kit lens. But if you already have an R series camera and you want to get like another one, like an R10 for a backup or whatever. Then use those other lenses. Just get the, the just get the R10 as uh, as just the body, and then you're good to go because you have other lenses. So you don't really need to um, buy into more lenses. You don't have to get the kit lens, and the camera comes more expensive because you're getting a kit lens and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, this is like I said, this is. RFS 18-45 millimeter uh, 4.5 to 6.3 uh, for the f-stops for the f-stop so yeah so this is the R10 so that's the uh, uh, RFS lens the next lens I have is a big boy it's a big boy it's heavy it's a heavy boy it's heavy, but it's a big boy. I love this lens. Happy I bought it. But the downside with this lens, I'm gonna say, is the price. The price was a little. The price was really hefty, but I'm glad I have it. And here it is. It's a 50 millimeter zip 50. Nothing else. So it's a fixed lens. Fixed lens means it's a one focal length. But um, let me take the lens hood off. The lens hood off. It's a 50 millimeter. It's an RF lens. RF. So even though this is APC uh, uh, sensor, all because the APC sensor. If you guys can see that right there. All because the APC so can still take the higher end lenses too, but anyways, RF 50 millimeter f 1.2 L, and the L means luxury. So that's what this camera, that's what this lens is, guys. So you got that right there in the middle. Here's the big back. So the back on, um. So the back on that is bigger than this one as you can see here is because this one right here is for APC and this one right here is for full frame. So that's why So that's why that one is bigger, that one's smaller than this one. So 
in the box it came with a carrying case if i really wanted to put it in a carrying case i could but that carrying case is in my room it comes with a lens hood so i could put this on i could put this on have it on and it protects my lens so if i bump it if I bump, like, like my hand, if I bump it, bump it into anything when I'm walking around, if I bump it into like a post or I bump it on the desk by accident and I have the lens hood on, the lens hood is going to take the damage and not the camera, not the lens, that not the glass on the lens is going to take the damage, which is good. Um, it's 1.2, so it's good in low light, real, real good in low light. It takes phenom phenomenal pictures like really does take really great pictures um it has full or affinity at 0 0.8 millimeters and it could also do autofocus or manual so autofocus the camera the whole camera lens focuses for you or you you put the uh on the on the screen or in the viewfinder because since the viewfinder it, it, it mirrors what's actually on the screen what you actually see on the screen is what you see in the viewfinder on mirrorless camera so that's good but um um so yeah so you could look at the viewfinder and then use a joystick and move that the uh thing on the, on the screen to wherever you want it or wherever you want it to focus boom and then the whole camera and lens are focused for you um manual focus means you're just focusing it on your own so you look at the viewfinder and you try focus it on your own and all that um that's good so this is good for like portraits weddings stuff like that uh, i never tried it for a wedding i never done weddings yet so i don't know but this is good for weddings and portraits and all that was what i heard but uh, i ch i've been doing this using this for portraits and stuff really good um <clears throat> The lens hood will keep the camera will keep light light flare like flares going into the camera from the sun or whatever light you're using. Um, but if you have a lot of but if there's a lot of light, this camera is not good for that because when I'm I've been using it and taking pictures and the lights coming in, uh, yeah, um, that's not good. Um, yeah, that's not good for the that's not good with this lens but low light oh you're you're laughing um but also on top of that bokeh or bokeh whatever uh whatever that is really good bokeh and bokeh that is those big that also that are those balls out in the balls like the round circle round circle balls in the background of the image and that like blurs out the background this lens does that beautifully i use this shooting dogs i use this shooting a dog i use this shooting uh doing portraits and i get blurry backgrounds and stuff like that love that i actually love that that is really 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 good so yeah um that's a lot about the um the R, the uh, R10, the R, um, the RFS 18245, and this Beast Boy of 50 millimeter. Now, I'm gonna tell you something here. I'm gonna tell you now. If you want to buy this lens. Go for it. I do recommend it, but the problem, but the one con I have with this lens, I don't like. There's actually there's two. Very heavy. It's a very beefy of a lens. Very heavy. Um, it's heavy, but that's fine. But that is kind of a con. It, it's heavy, so if you're putting it in your camera bag and you're walking around, it's very heavy. But the main con that I have with this lens. Is the price if you are in Canada this lens starts at two something so this lens starts at oh really well it starts at two hundred 
$2,699.99. And it's it's a really good lens, but that's the only con I have with this lens, is that it starts at that. Um, that's in Canada. That's at my local camera store. I don't know about you guys, but that's at my local camera store. It starts at $2,000. $2,000, this lens starts. Now, there is another 50 millimeter that's cheaper. And then that one's called the Nifty 50. That starts at $199.99. So, $100 and something dollars. So, $200 you're paying for the Nifty 50. But that one is a F1.8. That one is a, that one is an F1.8. That one's good too. That one's actually really good. I, I I never used that one. That one's good, but this one right here is a professional lens. It's a luxury lens. The L um the L on the lens is luxury. Uh Canon calls that their luxury um their luxury can their luxury lenses. So anything so let me take the lenses off again so if you see anybody any lenses in your local store that has the red around the red ring around it that means luxury it's a high-end professional lens it's luxury uh professional photographers use this stuff like that so yeah that's the Canon. So, that's the M50. That's the Canon. That's the RF 50mm. The R10. And the RFS lens. Um, if you don't want to pay the price point of this lens, go for the Nifty 50 and you'll still be good. I'm not a professional at photography, guys. I just love photography. I'm not. I don't think I'm professional yet, guys. I don't even think I'm I don't even think I'm there yet. But I love photography and I'm always going out taking photos because that's the best way you can um get better at photography is grabbing your camera, holding up the holding the viewfinder up to your eye and hitting the shutter button and practicing taking pictures. Now if you guys want to know more about photography, hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to know how to shoot manual, how to shoot whatever, um, manual mode, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I might start doing vlogs again guys. Uh, I might be, I might also do vlogs on the, on this, on this channel too. Because I can use the world mic now, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to do vlogs or just keep this strictly photography. But I don't know yet, guys. But this is magical memories. Out, oh, peace. Have a um, magical day. I love you all. And I'll catch you all in my next photography video. Real soon. Real soon.